guys, it's Queen cool Nashe. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back, guys. So today I decided that I want to do a little story time with y'all. You know, give y'all a little, a little messy content. A little messy video. A little messy, a little messy. I'm just playing y'all. But no, but for real, y'all. I'm giving y'all like a little story time of what happened when I used to work at Subway. Subway was my very first job. And shout out to my old boss for hiring me because if it was one for him, then... I don't know where will my first job be. But so it was my first job and I worked there in my high school years. I got hired at the end of my junior year and I um I stayed there for a long time like afterwards. I probably stayed there so probably like a good hmm good five years. Good four and a half going on five years. Cause I really loved that job. So it was the place that it was a, my boss hired at the time when I got hired, it wasn't nothing but straight females right there. So I didn't think nothing of, you know, I was cool with everybody at the job. Like, I was cool with everybody. So me and this one specific girl, we couldn't see at a, at a, with each other at all. Like, she just didn't like, I didn't like her, she just didn't like me. That's how I was. And, guys, I couldn't tell y'all the reason why. I'm not going to try to sit here and say... I didn't like her. I just didn't understand that why she didn't like me. My thing is with me, I'm going to give you the vibe that you give me. I'm going I'm to act accordingly. That's how I am. Like, you don't like me, I don't like you. That's it. That's all. And we're just going to keep it moving. So, like I said, y'all, I got along with everybody that worked there. Then, you know, eventually time went past. He had my um, old boss had hired more people, whatever. More guys, should I say. He hired probably like uh, two or three guys. And... You know, missed the click up or whatever because a lot of people, it was like people was getting complaints about, you know, when not people appeared like just suddenly females couldn't get along. Like it couldn't get, they couldn't get along at all. And with me, I got along with everybody. But this one specific girl, me and her just don't get along at all. I got hired before her, but when I first started, probably like a couple of months later, that's when she got hired. I can sense when you not right. Like, that's how you might sense when someone not right. So, I just instantly thought, like, okay, something I'm about, about to write about her. And I'm just, you know, keep my eye open. So, one day when I was at work, I don't even, honestly, guys, I don't, I can't even tell y'all how we started not liking each other. Like, I just can't. Like, because I don't, I don't even know. Still to this day, I don't know. And I, quite frankly, don't care. Like, I don't. But trust me, if I cuss my video, I will be saying more than that. But yes, guys, I don't even know why I don't like why we didn't like each other. And um, one day she had tried to fight me, y'all. Like it was that serious. Like she tried to fight me one day at workout, and I was just laughing because like she was one of those people that basically she was one of those people that get rowdy and stuff when her, when her work buddy there. That's how she was. And with me. I'm not one of those at all because, like I said, I'm not, for one, I'm not no messy person. I'm not at all. Like, I've never been no messy person. I've been in only, I've been in two fights my whole life. One my childhood days and one when I was in high school. My sophomore year to be exact. I only fight if I feel like I'm being, like, somebody trying to take my kindness for weakness because I'm quiet. And that's how I am. And I guess, because I wasn't, like like them like rowdy like them at work or whatever then people would just basically she just wants to take my kindness for weakness i guess i like, smoke or you know stood around and you know talked about everybody else like i wasn't i wasn't that type of person at all and so one day i was at work so me and this girl was sitting there talking or whatever and you know we were just sitting there talking like just talking about random stuff i'll I never forget because it was like on a sunday or something like that because we always slow on sundays like after our church rush we always be slow pre um, practically in the morning that's when we used to be slow so i was sitting there you know me and her just talking me and the girl just talking to whatever one of my co old co-workers we were just talking to stuff so when she got the phone or whatever she was like um Dang, that's crazy. Everybody is so finna be pregnant. So I'm like, what you mean? Who pregnant now? And she started left, so she just left it at that. So I'm like, so me, y'all, it wasn't under my business. So I just left it at that. So I was just like, damn, that's crazy. I'm like, well, I know who ain't gonna be pregnant because, baby, I was, what, 19, 20 at the time? I wasn't thinking about no baby. I wasn't. Like, no. Nah. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I just left it at that. You know, kept on doing my job. Just kept on doing what I'm doing. So, we just basically left it off. That was it. That was all. So, 
I was here seeing the girl like the next day she had came to work and she like um she asked me man y'all like look this is how this is how crazy the whole situation was y'all she had we worked the whole shift together y'all the whole shift it was just me and her each shift my boss used to schedule two people to work together that's it only no more than two so me and her worked the whole shift together y'all and i'm one of those i don't care if you don't like i'm gonna still come get my money like come in overtime or not so now what like i don't care if you don't like me that that ain't my problem it ain't stopping me from getting my money I was finna get ready to get off work in a couple of hours. Probably, no, I was finna get ready to get off work in like 30 minutes or whatever. And my relief had came. So my relief was um, this other girl or whatever. So her and the other girl, they was pretty much kind of closer. Because um, I guess probably smoking or whatever. The case may be, I don't know. But they was pretty much kind of closer. They were pretty much kind of closer or whatever. So... They had stood outside and smoked the cigarettes. So while they standing outside smoking the cigarette, I'm making sure I'm making sure my area clean, my job is done for the day before I go outside, crank this cop. Because once I crank this cop, put this foot to the gas and I'm gone. Like I ain't no turning back. So I had um, you know, when I said started my little cop, started my little cop. At the time I had my little cavalier. And um I had when I went outside, y'all, the crazy part about it, y'all, man, y'all, let me, let me tell y'all how crazy this is. Me and this girl worked at the entire, I mean, the entire shift together. I'm talking about before my man, before my boss came in, we were, before my boss came in that day, we, me and her worked the entire shift together. When my boss came in, he came in, did what he did, then he ran back out, right, because he owns two, um, two stores. He went, ran back out and went to the, to the other store. So we worked the entire shift together, not saying nothing to each other, cause I ain't got nothing to say to you because what we gonna what I'm gonna say. So her friend came, I mean the girl came or whatever. So they stood, like I said, they stood outside, smoked a cigarette. So she had asked me like, um, she had asked me like, can I ask you a question? I started laughing. What's up? Imagine y'all, the door that I went out of was the door that they were smoking by, which is the employee door. So we had employee door like, um, we had an employee door and then a door for the customers. So I went out the employee door. So they standing right there on the side, you know, smoking a cigarette with them. 18 years old, what you smoking a cigarette for? Like, come on now. That don't even make sense. What you stressing for, sis? Like, I'm not understanding. You 18 years old smoking a cigarette. None of my business though. Now all of a sudden, y'all, she got a question. So I'm like, I ain't say nothing to y'all. So all I just heard was, um, ask her. So she like, I got a question. Let me stop you in your tracks right there. So I start laughing. Like as I open my car door, because I parked right in front of the door. Uh, let me stop you in your tracks right there. You got a question for who? Me? She like, yeah, who up? I just started laughing. Yeah, she's not talking to me. Because for one, for one, y'all, let me tell y'all, for one, for one, for one, we worked the whole entire shift together, the whole entire shift, just me and you. You had plenty of time to ask me this one specific question. Or you had plenty of time to ask me anything that you want to ask me. But you waited until your friend came to work or your little buddy buddy came to work to ask me now all of a, now all of a sudden that you got a question in your head. That don't need, what? Now you got a question. When you had this same question since you walked in the door. That you could have asked me. I'm sure I've probably been talked about. Like I'm sure I probably have. You probably could have asked me the question then. But you waited until your friend got there. To ask me the question. I said. I started laughing. I'm like what's up. Like I said. I walked out the door that they came out of. And I could walk back in the door. That they came. They were standing about. And. And what. So I'm like what's up. She like. So you asked somebody was I pregnant. <laughs> girl what pregnant what are you talking about i said i started cracking up she was like i don't find, find her sugar honey i see funny i find it very hilarious i said girl for one i find it hilarious because you had me you had all that asked me this one question now that you get in front of your friend man job by this time y'all my boss pulled up he walking on in the door i <clears throat> i told her i said that you is mighty funny we ain't had no customers or nothing y'all like i told y'all we slow on sundays i said it's mighty funny that you get around your friend when they ask me this one specific question when you had all day to ask me this question i'm like that's how it's funny i said that's what's funny and for two i don't care about you being pregnant or not, so i ain't asked nobody would you pregnant I'm like, so whoever told you that, 
You tell them they can, you and them can keep my name out your mouth because I didn't, I don't care, girl pregnant. I'm 19 years old. What the hell, what the, what in the world am I thinking about a baby for? I got too much going for myself. You talking about a what? Is you what? Girl, you gonna get on my face with that? So, she like, she's just cussing, going off, this, that, and the other. I start cracking up, girl. I said, girl, man, y'all, we walking past the oven. So, man, y'all, I'm standing there, like, actually telling her, like, look, girl, do you not know what I would do to you behind this counter? With your friend sitting there right here and with my boss sitting behind me and all. Do you not know what I would do to you? Like, don't play with me. I would, man, y'all, y'all just didn't understand. Like, y'all just didn't know. So I was like, I was heated, like y'all, y'all just don't understand. I was heated because girl, who do you think you talking to? Like I had to tell her, who do you think you talk? I'm talking to you to that. Yes, you, yes, you think you talk, you think you talking to me. Well, I'm gonna have the last laugh when I have your face in this toaster oven. I'm gonna see if your friend gonna have your back then. My boss like, calm down, calm down, this, that, and the other. What's going on? I said no nah, because I had told him like, no, nah, because me and him, me and her been working this whole entire shit. Now that whole one, her little buddy, buddy, and I told her friend, well, that's not even her friend, it's a work buddy. I had told her, me and her work this whole entire shift together, this whole entire shift. Now when your friend wanna walk in and to relieve me, you got a question to ask me. I'm like, not. Told him why she didn't ask me the question then why he said i don't know this that other y'all needs to calm down before a customer walk in i'm like no nah, she needs to calm down she, she'll see i'm like let her walk up on me let her she as soon as i turn of course when i turned around start walking towards the back to get my um coat and stuff she want to walk behind me yeah you better walk i better walk i'm turning back around i said i'm standing right here what you gonna do you better be lucky, um, you better be lucky, she was talking about our boss, you better be lucky, so-and-so right there, you better be lucky, what he gonna do? What he gonna do? You ain't gonna do nothing. I'm not, and I'm like, my thing is you trying to sit here and trying to ask so hard about it because you're a friend behind you who not gonna save you. Like, when we fuck, when I... When I beat the mess out of you, she's not gonna do nothing but, but break the fight up. My thing is, y'all, I'm one of those type of people that... Like I said, I be cordial with you when you be cordial with me. Don't try to ever, ever try to sit here and play me like I'm some type of goofy. That's what you're not going to do. That's what you're not going to do. She's just steady trying to go off and stuff like that. Like, nah, because she, she telling her friend, like, nah, she got, well, the girl, she telling the girl, like, she got me messed up because I, um... I said, no, I told her, I said, girl, you got your stuff messed up. I said, you want to ask me that question there, but you could have asked me at 7 o'clock when we walked in this morning. As we as you was punching in that employee ID number, you could have asked me then. But no, nah, no, nah, you want you one of those that wanted to show out. But me, like I said, baby, I don't have to have no crew behind me. For I don't have to have no army, no crew, nobody behind me to try to defend for myself. That's what I'm not gonna do. I said, you see how I walked out that door when I came to my car, the same that the same door that y'all was standing by. I said, and you still, I said, you, and what you was gonna do? You still wasn't gonna do nothing. You was arguing with me when I came back in the door. Trying to get loud with me. And you still didn't do nothing. I said, that's how I know you scared. Because I walked out the door. What well, I walked out the same door that y'all walked. That y'all was standing by. Smoking that cigarette. Like you stressed out. But you wanted to, what you was going to do. Yeah, I didn't understand that for nothing in the world. I saw it. The whole situation was funny. So said, my thing is, don't ever try to play me. Like I'm not going to argue back with you. Or like I'm not going to fight you in front of this girl. Like, come on now. Because... When I do get done with you, best believe I'm going to lose my job. And you're probably going to be on your way down there to the hospital that's down the street. Because, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't play with or nobody. Like, I don't. I'm one of those, I'm quiet, I'm to myself. Until you mess with me, then that's when I'll get rowdy. People under, people think that because I don't say much, then I, then I won't do much. But I'm going to keep letting you think that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep on letting you think that until it actually happens. Cause I don't bother nobody at all. I just say to myself, I'm, I'm goofy. I just like to have fun and just like to stay to myself. But the minute that you try to play me or try to bother me or something like that, like I won't defend myself, then, 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 then it would be a problem. That's it. That's all. So yeah, it was, it was, a, it was crazy. It was tough. But I enjoyed that job though. It was fun. You always gonna have one person somewhere that don't like you, that got beef with you, or you don't even some beef that you don't even know about. Like you don't even know about. You always just gonna have, you always just gonna have that one person, just that one person. But hey, it is what it is. Life goes on. Life goes on. 
just remember, don't let nobody take y'all kindness for weakness. Even if they think y'all is weak, let them think that until you prove them otherwise. Other than that, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end my video right here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when Cool and I shake post a video. And y'all, stop being so messy because y'all didn't even have to watch this video for real. Y'all didn't. Y'all just want to be messy and just want to see something. I'm just playing.